I'm Jennifer Marie Keller. Welcome to my Diary of a Painter. I have been doing these ink drawings instead of painting because this has been a super hard week. This week, Eric was working nights. Jude went to the doctors for his four month checkup and he got his shots and the vaccine made him like a little sick and fevery, so he was fussy for the next day. And also our pediatrician has recommended that we do sleep training with Jude. So we started that this week and sleep training is terrible. Like what she recommended us do is the cry it out method. So we've been doing that this week. And honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna do this for my next kid because it is stressful and painful, but we already started it. So if we stopped now, all the crying in the days before would have been for nothing. So we're gonna stick with it, but it is rough. And you, you can see that in my drawings, what the effects of like a really hard week with a four month old with sleep training in these drawings that I've done. So let me show that. So I started off with this drawing and I've been using those Micron pens and I've been using the 005 tip because that's a really fine tip, which is nice to get those nice thin lines. And it's also, I, uh, the color that I use is brown, which doesn't really look brown on the paper, but if you compare it to the black, the brown is definitely a lot softer, which I definitely prefer that. So this is the first one that I did. I really like how it turned out. This is the second one, which is a landscape, which is an idea for a painting that I've had for a while and now I'm finally getting around to realizing it. It's this, um, all these sirens on an ocean rock. And so here's the ocean rock that I was messing around with. <laughs> and then, okay, so these two drawings are before the sleep training. And this drawing, oh my God, is during the sleep training. And you can see the dip. Like I just, if you just like look at the quality of the lines, this is kind of an embarrassing drawing, but I'm going to show it anyway. Why not? Right? <laughs> like look at the difference between, and like down here, I don't know why I made this so dark. So with the, the sleep, he's crying and I'm trying, I'm not supposed to go in there until the nap time is over. So just like, I just darkened this. So I don't know what I was thinking. I probably wasn't thinking because I was just stressed. But, and the start of this hand kind of looks a little bit like a shovel or something. So yeah, that is the effects of being stressed with a baby and sleep training. And so as you can see, my like with this, my um, focus isn't totally there and I'm distracted. So I'm drawing is really good for that because painting, there's like so many elements that you're dealing with and drawing is really just, you're just really dealing with value. And it's something that is super, an easy material to work, let, work with if you're using pen, it's like, you're not worrying about things drying or anything. And you can just like pick it up whenever you want to. So that's what this week has been a lot of just, um, starting, stopping, starting, stopping whenever I get a moment to work. And I've been working while Jude is sleeping, while he's with me. We also just got our hands on this baby swing, which we tried out and has been a success, which is nice because then I could uh, get to do stuff. Like with painting, especially oil painting, you can just like keep putting paint on, let it dry, put another layer on, and it's so forgiving and I like with these ink drawings you just have to be so unapologetic <laughs> with what you're doing because you can't obviously erase with it I mean there's the good to that because you put marks down and you make it work or the bad to it where you're putting marks down and then something like this happens since having a baby I've been using a lot of photo reference to make my images and I like doing these ink drawings with taking from a photo reference, a figure that I have, or like a landscape thing like this. And when I draw it, 
and you're just focusing on the one thing, it takes it out of the context of the photo reference. So for this, this is my friend's kid and she was asleep on a couch like this, but I like orienting it this way. And if I'm using this more so as kind of a brainstorming activity, I guess. So I'm thinking then of what, if I'm making a painting or an image out of this, what the background would be. And that's so much easier to like let my imagination and creativity run. I stumbled upon that with this painting, which I'm still working on. But so I had this ink drawing that I really like. And I was thinking of how I wanted to make a painting out of this. And this is all I had. And then I, I came up with this image, which again, still, <laughs> still working on. So I I'd made this just for fun because I liked the figure. And then I put another figure behind that. And I like how their spines touch a lot. And then I came up with a the composition that I liked and then working on the painting. That's definitely a new way of working, going from ink drawing to charcoal drawing to the painting, but right now it's working for me and I like it a lot. So that's what I'm doing with this Sirens painting. All, it's actually a ton of pages in here of working out different ways the Sirens would be on a rock, but the central figure is posed like this. So I finished the drawing and it's, well, looks pretty <laughs> silly, but you can see, I'm, I'm glad that I did it and finished it because it's just helpful to see. I've got that figure going, um, like pushing up off that rock and it's more realized than like something like this, like that's the, the figure. So these two figures here, I'm gonna start working on those next. So right now just, going to be working on more ink sketches for this sirens painting and then um, probably work on a charcoal drawing and put all these different sketches together and then start like little painting studies to get it figured out.